This video is brought to you by Sailrite. Welcome back. Here we're going to talk about zippers and we're going to show you how to install a zipper. There are multiple ways to install zippers. Uh, we're going to just show you one way and I call it a zipper plaque. It's a quick way to install a zipper and these zippers can be installed in pillows and cushions and all kinds of different applications. So if you want to see other ways to install zippers, be sure to visit the Sarah website. We have multiple videos on installing zippers. All right, we have this decorative fabric and let's uh, say we're going to put a zipper right in the center of this assembly. What we want to do is we want to uh, be sure that we put the zipper on the right side of the fabric. As you can see, this has a right side and a wrong side. This is the correct side or the outside. So we're going to fold it in half at that location where we want to install the zipper. So the outside surfaces or right sides are facing each other and we want to crease it well in the center. Now we'll take it to the sewing machine and we'll take our number five YKK Vislon zipper. We will place the zipper on top of the fold with the teeth centered. Now we're going to do a tack stitch right next to the edge of the zipper tape. So we want a stitch to be right here. So we're going to take it to the sewing machine and we're going to determine where the needle will land in the fabric with the teeth centered on the fold. So there's where we want our stitch to be. Now we're going to remove the zipper. We're going to place our magnetic guide here to help guide our fabric while we're sewing it. We want our sewing machine to be set up in the maximum stitch length and we do not want to do any reversing for this because we're going to be ripping this stitch out. We're going to lower the foot. We're going to hold our trailers and sew down this length. Once that's done, we're going to take our scissors and we're going to carefully cut on the fold. Now, it doesn't have to be exceptionally accurate, but the more accurate it is, the easier it is to lay our zipper on top and make sure it gets centered. Once it's cut, you can splay it open. And if you've done it correctly, it should be about the same size as the zipper, and it is very close. It doesn't have to be exactly accurate, but the closer it is, the easier it is to center the zipper. Now some fabrics don't lay very flat and sometimes you can take an iron and you can iron it on a low heat depending on the fabric. Be sure you check with the, uh, the recommendations for the particular fabric before you iron it. Or you can crease it on the edge of a table sometimes and that'll help the fabric to lay nice and flat. This one should probably be ironed on low heat, but we're not going to do that. We're going to take this to the sewing machine and we're going to lay our zipper directly on top so the zipper is centered with that tack stitch that we just created. We're going to use the uh, standard foot on this sewing machine because we can move the needle left, right, and center. And we can get closer to the teeth by moving it all the way to the right. If your sewing machine doesn't have a lever like this, you may need to install a roping zipper foot. Now we're going to center the teeth and sew as we go. I'm going to bury the needle by hand first to make sure I get it where I want it. And I held my tack stitches, or I'm sorry, I held my stitches to make sure they don't get fed underneath. And that I like the position, so I'm going to sew along here. Do a little bit of reversing at the beginning. And as I sew, I'm going to center the teeth on that stitch. I'm going to make sure that the presser foot, side of the presser foot, is up against the zipper teeth. By holding the zipper up like this, I can ensure that I'm getting it in the center. Take your time doing it the first time because you need to position the zipper as you sew. Get to the other end, we can do some reversing. You bury your needle to the thickest part, lift your foot, and sew right over the teeth if this is going to be where a zipper will stop. So I'm going to carefully sew right over the teeth to the other side, and notice the, the, the needle hit, hit the teeth. That's why I want to go slow, because we don't want to cause a deflected needle. Okay, we've turned the zipper around and we're going to sew 
on this opposite side on the same side of the presser foot. And that's rather important in a lot of applications. So make sure you sew zippers on the same side. Now here we can go rather quick because everything is held in place. And I'm gonna do some reversing here. Now we'll turn the assembly around. So we're looking at the outside surface and we're gonna use a seam ripper and we're gonna cut these first stitches, the tack stitches that we installed. Now we have a nice concealed zipper in this assembly and it looks beautiful. And if you'd like to, you can pull all these stitches out, but you'll notice that the needle holes are barely visible. If you look at this side, that's the underside. This is a very important step because oftentimes people will continue to sew their assembly completely together and forget to install the slider and then have to tear it apart just to get the slider in. So what we're gonna do to get the slider in is we're gonna separate the teeth by pulling on them. And then we're gonna start, there, there's a fat end of the slider and a skinny end. And you wanna start the fat end and you wanna make sure that the slider puller is obviously facing towards the outside of the fabric. So we're gonna to try to start it evenly on both sides of the zipper. Our slider is installed and works beautifully. This assembly would usually be sewn into something. And when it's sewn into something, you'll be doing some more tack stitching here to close off the zipper end that's left open. And you'll be doing some more at this end to close it off more securely. And that's one technique to install a zipper. And next we're gonna move on and show you how to install piping.